I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Spiritoon. In Hinduism and Buddhism, the number 108 is of great significance. Groups of deities or of servants of deities are often numbered 108. In Buddhist teachings, the six feelings, taste, smell, sight, sound, touch, and consciousness, multiplied by two for pleasant and unpleasant, and by two again for internal and external, and by three for past, present, and future, are the 108 feelings a human can feel. This is in turn the 108 temptations which must be overcome to achieve nirvana, and leads to a bell being struck 108 times at New Year. And subsequently, the number appears regularly in East Asian culture. Some martial arts teach that there are 108 pressure points, while others involve learning 108 moves. The ancient Chinese novel Water Margin features 108 bandits, and inspired the Japanese video game Suikoden. The novel opens with the removal of a holy sealing stone, and the freeing of 108 demon spirits. Spiritomb is a ghost and dark type Pokemon. A ghostly face, swarmed of a swirling mass of spirits, hovers over a cracked stone. Spiritomb resembles a purple mist, with green orbs of light forming eyes, a mouth, and a ring like prayer beads around the edge. Pokemon Diamond tells us, A Pokemon that was formed by 108 spirits. It is bound to a fissure in an odd keystone. In the Sinnoh Pokedex, and most other regional Pokedexes in which it appears, Spiritomb is number 108. Though in the National Pokedex it's number 442, and I don't think Spiritomb could even play football, let alone what role it would play in a 4-4-2 formation. In Defense and Special Defense, Spiritomb's base stats are both 108, and it weighs exactly 108 kilograms. To obtain Spiritomb in the original Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Players had to undergo a convoluted series of tasks in the underground multiplayer portion of the game. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, the player has to collect 108 wisps dotted around the game's maps. Legends Arceus Pokedex tells us, It lays curses by thinking wicked thoughts. Writings tell that this Pokemon was born out of the assembly of five score and eight malevolent spirits. In the 108th episode of the Pokemon Journeys anime, a Spiritomb actually possesses young Ash, and is incredibly mischievous. Pokemon Platinum tells us, Its constant mischief and misdeeds resulted in it being bound to an odd keystone by a mysterious spell. And Pokemon Pearl is even more explicit, saying, It was bound to a fissure in an odd keystone as punishment for misdeeds 500 years ago. It's quite rare for Pokemon to tell us a character is actively evil, though some spooky behaviour is common enough among ghost types. Pokemon Sword is a little softer, telling us, Exactly 108 spirits gathered to become this Pokemon. Apparently, there are some ill-natured spirits in the mix. Welcome back to Does Andy Remember Gen 4 Pokemon? And if so, does he have any thoughts about them? Spiritomb! is a ghost Pokemon. It is. That is a big swirling vortex made of purple and green, like, I don't know, sick. Does it what not is purple look and like green? So. Purple and green is, there must be a thing that's purple and green together, right? Well, oh, it's both kinds of grape. Uh, I wouldn't really, you think it's someone who ate loads of grapes and then vomited. <laughs> Purple and green is just villain <laughs> colours, isn't it? Like, like I feel that the juices are just going to blend into each other. Oh, no, cause, well, no, because I don't know if I like the sound of that, because um, somebody turns all of these things purple and yellow, just to make a point. Um, you are I, quite I don't want to be supporting the... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 I feel there must be some good guys with purple and green. Um, like... I'm no, just thinking Lex Luthor, purple, 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 so. purple and yellow. Goblin, purple and green. No, but I have managed Brainiac, to get purple and yellow by Batgirl. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's like that dark purple with some other highlight. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm Batgirl. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you just end it on I'm Batgirl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Batgirl! Spiritomb's ghost and dark typing meant, like Sableye, it had zero weaknesses before the introduction of Fairy-type. Along with some decent bulk and a levitate ability, 
This made Spiritomb a useful Pokémon for interrupting an opponent's plans. It has never been absolutely top tier, as other ghosts are similarly effective while having a bit more attacking heft, but it's always a tricky opponent to face. Ghost stories often involve a spirit being linked in some way to a physical object in the mortal world. This is even more true in Japanese culture, with objects becoming sentient yokai with age. Spiritomb is a great encapsulation of some classic creepiness, worth tracking down in even the most convoluted of side quests. Music for Luke Loves Pokemon is by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing, and editing is all by me, Luke Summerhays, and funding is provided by lovely listeners at patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. I love it when you guys get in touch. Hit me up on Twitter or Facebook at Luke Loves PKMN, and let me know your thoughts about our next monsters, Gibble and Riolu, or share your love for any Pokemon. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are with us, so on Sundays we have bonus episodes about the Pokemon of the Paldea region. Also, join me Friday and Saturday nights from 8pm UK time at twitch.tv slash LukeLovesPKMN for my streams. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Spiritomb, and remember, I love you too.